All right, just came across this article. It says, lawsuits allege decades of abuse by local Catholic priests. And of course, you know, the Roman Catholic priesthood is pagan and wicked and based off the pagan Roman religion. And the Roman Catholic priesthood is, is not scriptural at all. But it says here, which is why they have all this pedophilia and all this other stuff, because they're celibate, which is not scriptural at all. Pre bishops are supposed to be the married. They're the husband of one wife, like the Bible says, but they're unmarried, and they just have all these kinds of problems. It says, uh, let me just full screen this, earliest claims of use at St. Paul's in 1945, a, del a deluge of lawsuits filed against the Diocese of Syracuse under the State Child Victims Act alleged lo a long-standing secretive effective system for concealing clergy sex abuse. Gross. Hundreds of cases pending against the diocese, which last week were filed for bankruptcy in the face of the overwhelming legal battle. Multiple complaints allege sexual abuse by children by of children by priests associated with the Oswego parishes. For this story, the Paladin Times editorial team spoke with attorneys for the alleged victims, revealed by, by hundreds of pages of court and diocese documents with a uh, Aggredited credible information from the community members who claim to have acknowledged of the situation claim to have knowledge of the situation. The names of the alleged victims are being withheld with identities redacted and replaced with the term victim and plaintiff or the child or applicable. The cases differ in decades, institutions and individuals, but many components follow the same sad pattern of underage male involved of an underage male involved with the Catholic Church, schooling or worship is, is sexually abused by a clergy member. Yeah, they're, they're satanic priests. They're priests of Baal. That's what they are. The Diocese of Syracuse knew for, knew for decades that its priests, clergy, religious brothers, religious sisters, school ministers, teachers, employees, and volunteers were using their position within the diocese to groom and sexually abuse children, reached the opening of the complaint alleging abuse that began more than five decades ago. In 1969, according to the case filed by the New York Supreme Court, a di the diocese knowingly and recklessly discarded or disregarded the abuse of children and, close and chose to protect its reputation and wealth over those who deserve protection. Typical of the pagan Roman Catholic Church, always covering it up because they want to look good. The lawsuit specifically names Father Albert Proud, a priest, teacher, and school minister at the Oswego Catholic High School, also known as Cat High later, Bishop uh, Cunning H.S., who used his position to, to uh, allegedly sexually abuse minors. No parent or ordinary uh, pre-deuce in comparable circumstances would have allowed the victim to be, to, to be under su the supervision or in the case the con or, con or in the case custody or control of the Diocese of Oswego Catholic High School or Father Proud. And he goes, his parents that Father Proud uh, his, and his parents that Father Proud was not safe and was not trustworthy and that he in fact posed a danger to the victim that Father Proud was likely to sexually abuse him the complainant reads so the complaint reads that you know, tip, again, the Roman Catholic priesthood is paganism, so they're borrowing the paganism and the ped pedophilia from the pagan Roman and Greek Empire. The plaintiffs, I already read that. Much of the substance of the complaints is of drawing direct between diocese and leadership and policies and abusive priests claiming they work together to conceal sexual abuse for mutual benefit. Upon information, a belief that at all relevant times, Father Proud was acting in the course and scope of his employment at Oswego High School, reads lines 44 and 45. The lawsuit concerning Proud at all relevant times and his parents trusted Father Proud because the diocese at Oswego High School uh, held him out as someone who is safe, who could be trusted with the supervision, care, and custody and control of the victim. Yeah, never, never trust a Catholic priest. The diocese also controlled OCHS and at the relevant times, along with agents, servants, and employees, managed and maintained and operated. This that this claim states in the case uh, in the causes of action section, the plaintiff's attorney alleged negligence in giving proud access to children, entrusting their tasks, promises, and instrumentalities. Not good at reading on a computer. To him, following to train their personal and signs of sexual uh, pre predation 
and to protect children from sexual abuse and harm. Another enumer enumerated cause of action in the proud complaint uh, relates to reckless extreme and outrageous content by the diocese and OCHS. He goes down there. It's been like a tidal wave, says Micah, Michael Pafu. Pafu, I don't know how you say his name. One of the attorneys representing Proud's alleged victim, uh, Pafu's firm, have taken more than 700 cases of abuse nation statewide under Child Child Victims Act. 700 cases. Wow. Including others against other Catholic dioceses and organizations like the Boy Scouts of America, uh, are facing. Legal reckoning from motivated abuse from motivated abuse survivors. Some have been waiting nearly their entire lives for this opportunity for a potential closure. The earliest uh, of abuse, or sorry, the earliest case of abuse that Paul Times told told sorry could undercover in reviewing recent legal filings date back to 1945. Uh, for two years, Father William J. Kiefer engaged in or allegedly engaged in unper unpermitted sexual contact with a male child at St. Paul's Academy on the east side of Oswego. Uh, the lawsuit claims the diocese should, should have acted on prior knowledge that Kaffir was not fit to work with children due to potential due to the potential for abuse. This is the first time that Kaffir has been publicly identified or linked to credible allegations. As a vulnerable child who Father Catherine had access to, the diet uh, through uh, facilities and programs, the plaintiff and the foreseeable victim, um, so the plaintiff was a foreseeable victim. The, compl the complaint reads, the diocese would also allegedly failed to warn the victim's family about the risk posed by Kaifir, I hope I'm saying that right, and consistently failed to inform law enforcement about the ongoing sex abuse within its walls. And goes down there. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, just totally disgusting how this, how these, these uh, Roman Catholic priests of Baal are just going after children like this. Uh, God's going to judge the Roman Catholic Church severely and harshly, because let me show you, turn to a verse of scripture on this. Matthew chapter 18, verse, I believe it's verse 14. Let me show the word of God says on this. Matthew 18, 14. Even so it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little little ones should perish. So it's not the will of the Father in heaven that, that children should be abused. They shouldn't perish. So uh, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is not Christianity. It is a pagan Roman cult that is masquerading as Christianity. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.